Well guys, that's another camp, solo camp done. Um, I've enjoyed my 24 hours here. Well, not exactly 24 hours, I didn't arrive until about half past one, two o'clock. Once again, Loch Rannoch has delivered. Check the snow in the hills out towards Glencoe. Beautiful. So, I'll take you for a wee look around what was my camp. So, the fire pit that I resurrected, um, it was an absolute mess when I came here. There you go. No trace. And what we'll do um, is I'll, I'll rub that out before I go. So there definitely will be no trace. So here's where I had the tent. Um, all that's left is a, bit, a little bit of frost. A little bit of frost from the tent. What I'll do is I'll take you for a wee wander round to the the neighbouring bay. It's um, quite nice round there. Unfortunately, this is the only walk that I'm going to get because um, my ideas about going to the Hermitage. Um, I kind of get quashed because we're now sitting about 20 to 10. I'm actually on call for my work and I've got somebody covering for me for 24 hours. So I need to be back in the area by 11-ish in case anything goes wrong. So hopefully it won't and I can get actually get back to the house and have a bit of sleep. But see up beyond here is the, the hydroelectric power power station, I think. You see the pipes going up the right up the hill. So this is a nice wee bay as well, a nice wee camping area. Sandy beaches, etc etc etc. Once again looking out onto the the hills and further back you've got Glencoe. That's not going to sit very well is it? And obviously in summertime in summertime this place is absolutely chocker. But winter, you've kind of got your pick of spots. I did actually think that um, I would have had more of a chance at Tummel. Um, as I say, that's why I wanted to go to Tummel, but Tummel was um, because this weekend has kind of been a bit Davy Care, right enough. Because Tummel was the first place that we went to. Well, we took David to, um, but we couldn't get it. But David's done Loch Rannoch before. I mean, he, he did sort of like sort of going out on his own from time to time. Um, so there's a wee castle in the middle of the loch. Um, I did research that. It um, was used as a prison at one point. Um, and before this was, before the dam systems went in, um, I believe you could walk to that by foot, but obviously when the dam system went in, um, it flooded the entire area. And I need to stop saying arm. I've noticed that, I was playing back some of my videos earlier and it's arm this, arm that, for Christ's sake Andy, get a grip of yourself man. Arm. Um, so, yeah. But yep, so it's high tail down the road. Actually about I meant to say about 
maybe an hour ago, it started to snow. I was like, yeah, dancer. Um, but um, but uh, there's, it never came to much. I hear a pheasant up here. I don't know if we'll be able to see it. I heard the capper Kayla this morning briefly. So it must have just been a quick lick. He's in these bushes. I don't think he'll be coming out to play. Because yeah, there's pipes leave that power station and go right the way up to another building. So, just to catch all the water running off the hills. I don't know exactly how, how it works. I'm presuming that's a big turbine house, that when the water's, there must be some sort of lock up the top there, that the water runs down and turns the tur tur turbines to make the electricity then runs off into this loch and then further down it hits another set of turbines and feeds into Loch Tummel and then hits another dam at the end of Loch Tummel which was where I was originally going to camp and then it runs into the River Fiscali I think then onto Loch Fiscali at Pitlochry and then there's a series of dams here as well. Listen to me, the all knowledge giver of hydroelectricity systems. But yeah. So I'll get on my merry way. I'm waffling again. I'll get on my merry way down the road to Sunny Bones and hopefully my bed. As I say, I need to be back in the area because I'm on call and one of my colleagues has gratefully said that she would cover for me. So I hope it's been a quiet one in Edinburgh last night for her. So. I'm signing off from Loch Rannach and sorry I couldn't take you to the Hermitage but we'll do the Hermitage another day and um, thanks for watching this series of videos I know some of it's been quite serious but um, there's plenty more fun to come so this is Recovery Wild Camper signing off from Loch Rannach and remember, recovery is real.